Good afternoon. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, I know why I'm here. I, uh, I uh, have a meeting tomorrow with uh, the mayor uh, just to talk about where things stand with respect to bringing or the target center back to the great building it was built as, which I hope will come to a final form in the next few weeks, which will be great. It'll be exciting for the fans of the Timberwolves, and it'll be really exciting, I think, for the people in Minneapolis and the entire downtown area. When you think about the, uh, the new scoreboard, the signage, the seats, the <coughs> clubs, the restaurants, uh, everything that really takes the ambience of the building and worries about its guests and brings it really into the 21st century. That's a, that's a very important development for the league, and I wanted to show my support for that. While I'm here, I get the opportunity to say thank you to a number of very supportive sponsors for the T-Wolves uh, and get a chance to say hello to everyone here. I don't want to say too much because I don't have anything left to say at All-Star, but uh, suffice it to say we're having a great season. Um, our players are getting, I think, the respect they deserve for what they do on the court and off the court. And, uh, uh, and we believe that the collective bargaining agreement and the revenue sharing have put us on a course to great success where we're going to see player salaries continue to rise team profitability and team values can continue to rise and our teams will be uh, really as competitive or more competitive with each other than they've ever been. And so, you know, obviously the one thing we haven't been able to figure out is how to deal with uh, age or injury. So we have uh, several uh, Timberwolves out with injury tonight and a couple of Spurs who will be out But uh, other than that, life is good. I'm already looking at my schedule for exhibition games for next year. We've got, uh, you know, we're planning exhibition games in uh, Europe, in Asia, in Latin America, and that's going to be great. And we're uh, uh, looking forward to a great conclusion to this season and another successful season next year. And I just got back from a game between Detroit and New York in London, of all places, a sellout crowded O2 Arena, and uh, a huge appreciation for our game by our European fans. So we're feeling very good about everything from uh, the way our players are being received here and the way we're being received around the world. And I'd be happy to answer any questions as long as you identify yourself before you ask them. Commissioner John Krasinski with Associated Press. Um, Glenn Taylor is kind of in a process of looking for a successor and just I know that you two have been close over the years and wanted to get your thoughts on him as an owner and working with him through the years and, and how you are watching this process unfold as he looks to pass the torch. I would say that I'm pretty involved in the process. Uh, I uh, go back to uh, the inception of the franchise, the Harvey and Marv. They never needed a last name for me. They were just Harvey and Mom. And, and when they decided it was time to sell the club, I think Glenn Taylor came along uh, on his white horse, and we were very relieved to have him and keep the team here. Since that time, Glenn has been a failing supporter of the team, the city, and ultimately the, the league as he became chairman of our board. Um, and I have as with many other owners over the years, I've suggested to him that uh, he should think about a plan for the orderly succession of the team, although I know he still loves it and he doesn't want to do it tomorrow, um, that he should consider it. Um, and he has, and he's doing it in a very thoughtful uh, and prudent way. Eventually, it'll happen. I, I, I think he's, he, Glenn is not what you would call an anxious seller. Uh, he, he doesn't, he, I, sometimes I think he may have seller's remorse even though he hasn't sold it because he loves the team and he loves what it does for the community and the life. 
like, but I, I, I do believe that he's in the midst of at least a thought process that's going to uh, find him at some point in the future, not immediately, uh, as uh, uh, engineering the sale of the